But I think the thing that, that everyone's got to realize is this. Those camps exist for a reason. We've told the background of the garden plot. We've told... Look at Tennessee. Look at Ohio. All these right. shut-down state prisons now being run by Homeland Security just sitting there. Right. And look at the way the whole Pittsburgh... I mean, you had Jason and others there. I mean, look at the whole initiation. This is... I, I've got a very important story, Alex, and, and the, it's the militarization of the police force on my website today, stevequail.com, Q-U-A-Y-L-E.com, that everyone has got to realize. Well, Steve, thing. Steve, I mean, we've got the mayors, and I meant to play this today. In fact, cue those mayor clips up. I sent you from the newsletter when you get a chance that there it's in your IMs, where the police chiefs just say, look, you're not allowed to be on the street, and if you are, we attack you. I Absolutely. mean, this is an incredible martial law admission. That is martial law. Well, and here's the thing. Uh, I, I've told everybody this. They didn't believe me under the Model Emergency Health Powers Act, which you and I have spoken about. They have STK orders. Those are shoot-to-kill orders. The point is, is that I'm getting people saying, well, they can't do this, they can't do that. My they can under the InfraGuard that's been covered by mainstream news. They can even deputize private people with license to kill 007 power. But let me stop you, Steve. Recap, for those that don't know what we're talking about, what's going on in Harden, where it is, what the newscasts were saying, what the, you knew about this before it was on the news. What is, give us the scoop. The bottom line is a $27 million prison facility is not just a jail. It's $27 million bucks. No, we had the video. I wish we would have saved it. was a giant FEMA camp. Absolutely. And it, it exists in the realm of an Indian reservation. Hardin, Montana is about 45 miles east, uh, actually southeast to Billings, Montana. Billings, Montana is 130 miles away from I am, where I live in Bozeman. So what we're talking about is the need for, now, ladies and gentlemen, figure 10 to 16. 15,000 acres, that would obviously encounter, or forgive me, encompass a lot of the uh, uh, Native Americans' reservation land. The problem is there's the jail facility is a giant FEMA camp being manned by foreign mercenaries who not only have no legal jurisdiction, but have basically are, are there under orders from some very powerful international mercenary groups. And let me stop you. You're not saying this. They brag they're an international merc group in Bosnia, in Serbia, in Iraq, all over the world doing secret ops. There are these black SUVs that say Harden Police, and the local officials are going, yeah, we've been told they run the camp and that they run the, the town now. I mean, this is Twilight Zone. Well, it's not even Twilight Zone. It's a full implementation of the balkanization of the United States. Alex, years ago, and this is critical, you've got to let me say this. Years ago, when I was interviewing Cold War spies and, and ex-spies from both sides of the Iron Curtain, they told me the United States is already scheduled to be balkanized. And when we went on the Model Cities Exchange programs with different countries around the world, the idea of foreign troops being brought into the United States to uh, to keep the order of the disintegration of the United States, we're being balkanized. So uh, the, the interesting thing, too, on the American police force, they have the Serbian national crest, okay? And obviously one of the guys that's running it is a Serbian from Montenegro. But the point is, why do you have a Serbian crest on a an American police force site that exists in the virtual realm. You, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a major intelligence cutout, and in case everybody can't figure it out, Rex 84 and all the programs to enslave, mm -hmm. imprison, and destroy. And for the record, Alex, what's the interesting thing about uh, Guantanamo Bay is a lot of the torture that's gone on there can go on on Indian reservations because they're not under the same laws of the United States. Well, just like they stuck it under a special Guantanamo Bay, which was this weird no man's land that's a great point steve what are you you knew about this before it was in the news yeah, what are your intel sources saying specifically my intel sources are saying specifically that an event is going to be generated in the next several weeks now look these guys ha are as tuned in as they can but obviously there are things that change that everybody wants you or i to give them a day or an hour we can't do that we can tell them look everything is in place the these there's seven thousand uh Blackwater Z employees up on the Canadian border in Kalispell, Whitefish, Montana. That's the number we're told from the inside sources. The amount of foreign troops in Montana right now, it's not just Montana, Michigan, every other border state that borders the Great Lakes or borders the Canadian border has their 
pre-position men and materials there that there is going to be the false flag, Alex, that we've warned about and warned about and warned now, about. Now, the locals are getting upset by these black Mercedes SUVs that have Hardin Montana on them and then the double eagle crest just announcing, we are your police. This is insane. Men with foreign accents stomping around. I mean, this is Red Dawn happening. It is Red Dawn happening. And listen, when, when one of my, and let me tell you how close this is. When one, when my, uh, groundskeeper, I have a, you know, full time, uh, groundskeeper, if you will, uh, runs into 12 Tajikistan troops, heavily armed, uh, 30 miles in the wilderness, you know, and I'm the only guy in that part of the country, uh, that's private. You know, they they, did, they listened to you and I. i got to tell you a story. They listened to you and I, and they literally prayed and asked the Lord, this was the day that you and I were on the last time, is this stuff real? It's not that they don't believe me or you. It's just that sometimes people have got to see it with their own eyes. Let me stop you. We have found photos of the Two Rivers Detention Center uh, at Hardin, Montana. This has not been pulled yet. It only has 301 views. Uh, oh, my. It's a huge facility. In fact, there's other videos of this. This thing looks like Dachau. Well, it is, and i got to tell you something. It, this is what people don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. This is not where you go to get three meals a day. This is designed to basically be an, an absolute, uh, the most dire prison system in the world. Stay there, Steve. Stay there. This is unbelievable. Foreign troops on the ground policing Americans. We will be reporting on this FEMA camp. The photos are unbelievable. We're getting them posted up at prisonplanet.com and Paul Watson's story. There's a whole bunch of different videos and photos. It is a full camp, barber shops set up for families. This is unbelievable. I mean, look at this one, Two Rivers Attention Camp Facts. Click on that one. That's got a shot of the giant facility. I mean, this thing even looks bigger than it did on the news, uh, Steve Quayle. Yeah, and look, Alex, I want to tell everybody something. One of the most disturbing parts of this is, listen, my source told me that one of the managers at a local business in Hardin, Montana, was visited by this new private security force, which is, quote, the new police department. The guy that was visited is an avid hunter, and they came to inform him that they had a list of all firearms that he owned. This includes all the residents of our town, and that he would need to take his guns down to have them put a marking device on them. Now, who hey, Excuse get? me, you just dropped a bomb on us. This is Red Dawn. They are now, Steve. You don't, Steve. Are you, Steve, you're. We need to have this 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 business owner on. He needs to speak out. Well, again, the deal is, is I will track him down. Okay. Or is the town in fear now? Well, I, I don't think they're in fear. A lot of these people are are really. I'll tell you what, Montanans and and they're kind of like Texans. You know, they they they'll only take so much. And from what I'm hearing from the hardened people, they're getting very very upset. Okay, but but this is a bombshell, Alex. See, here's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Okay, you can use a cutaway. You can use a false front in Virginia. You can use a an empty office meeting room. But when they start talking, and this was volunteered. That they are going, they have a list of all the firearms that he owned. Only the ATF can give that to him, or the FBI, and that they're going to put a marking device on them, and that they would have the uh, the people in town. Now, when people say, "Well, I haven't been told that," well, no offense, if you live forty miles out of Hardin, why would you? You see, this is all part of it. This is absolutely. Hold on, it's got ba it's got education, it's got a school on it, just That's like the FEMA camp up here that they put the illegals in. The video we've got of the kids on the swings inside. This is a giant facility, Steve. How many does it hold? Well, the uh, the expansion uh, module for it, I'm told that they're talking that it will be ready to take five to 10,000 people. Well, I mean, just from the photos we've seen, it looks like it holds more than that. Well, no, I'm just talking uh, I'm just talking right now, Alex, what, what's currently there. I mean, let, let me share this with you. When they're talking 10 to 16,000, 10,000 to 16,000 additional acres, you can only use your mind... Uh, to, to project, I mean, we're talking about, uh, you know, pretty flat land in that area, some hills, but the point is is that you can make, this is what people don't understand, the plans to, to incorporate almost instantaneous uh, places to put large amounts of people. I mean, you know, I, I, we calculated that they can basically put, you name the number, they can put it there. And, and the locals were on the news before the news channel pulled it going, we don't know why they built this big camp. We don't know why they're saying there are police now. And, uh, and, and they admittedly, it's a foreign company.